Well, well, well. Look who's come. You've come back for more. That's good. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, today I'm showing you guys how to make a template. And a template means like you start a pattern for your poster, and then um, you can just continue that pattern over and over and over and make a bunch of different similar posters by using that pattern. They're not identical. So like if you wanted to make a poster of one football player and it uh, looks good, and then you just kind of tweak it and you put in another football player and just change the number, then you make another one with just a different player and a different number. You can use that same template over and over and over. So uh, that same pattern over and over. Let me just show you. It'll be easier to understand by watching it than by um, talking about it. Okay, so let's say I want to make a pattern like this. I want to make a poster like this. I only hit her face because uh, I didn't uh, ask for her permission to show this. And so uh, her face is hidden. And so if you want to do that, by the way, uh, you can go around uh, like the number, just select around the number and go to filter and then down to pixelate and then down to mosaic. And it'll ask you like, how pixelated do you want it to be? You want it to be a real pixelated or just a little pixelated? And you just choose and we'll be like, I want it to be that pixelated and then click okay and that's it select deselect done so um okay here's the thing the, to start with i wanted to get a picture of our high school and get it pretty doggone big and black and white and to do that i just went to google and i just found a picture online and i copy it right click and copy and then in photoshop you hit command v or edit paste it shows you command v and so here's the thing it's not big enough at first so command t will let you tree, free transform it. It'll let you transform it as large as you want. T means transform. So command or control uh, transform. Hit return when you're done. I want this in black and white. So to do that, I go to image, adjustments, desaturate. It'll suck the color out of it. All black and white. And I want it the background. So I want it to be blurry and the foreground to be clear. The front stuff to be clear, background blurry. So I'm going to go to filter down to blur, and then down to I like the Gaussian blur. And then you can make it again, just as blurry as you want, or you can be reasonable. And just something where I can tell it's the high school, but like a blurry background kind of version. Okay, now we're on our way. And then for the background, I wanted to add like an Auburn high school blue. So I'm making a new blank layer, and then we'll tell it, look, I want royal blue. And then we'll just paint it in with the, the paint bucket tool. Here's the thing, if you didn't know, up here at the top, this is on normal. One thing you can do, the bad version is to make it a, a different opacity, make it see through like that. I like to change it from normal and just scroll through. Some I like better than others. So you can just take your pick. Let's go with, uh, I don't know. Let's go with this one right here. And again, you can change it to be any opacity you want, but uh, I like changing the blending style, it's called also. So then you can type out, I typed out the word game. And uh, of course, when I initially typed it out, it was like this, it was very bright white. By the way, I downloaded that font at D-A-F-O-N-T, defont.com. So uh, when you type it out, it's pretty bright white, but I can change that to be overlay and make it where it's also kind of see-through. If you want, you could double click that layer until it, give it a stroke, give it like an outline like that. Um, I'm gonna click okay. And then same thing, we did home, home game. We're going to change it from normal to overlay. So it's kind of see-through, kind of not. And then double-click it until it, uh, don't just click the box, by the way. Click the word, stroke. There we go. So it's, it's starting to look kind of cool. We'll insert the player into the foreground. And uh, if you would like for her to glow more or less, you just double-click the layer. I did outer glow. And you can make it as bright as you choose. You can make it as dark as you choose. You can make it as small or as large as you want it to be. We'll go with that right there for now. And then uh, we'll say tonight. Thing about graphic design is, uh, you know, typically you're trying to get somebody to do something. In graphic design, it's usually not making a, a picture for the sake of making a picture. It's uh, making a picture for the sake of trying to sell a ticket or sell a product or sell an idea like, hey, I want you to come to this event or, hey, I want you to buy this product or, hey, I want you to uh, change your lifestyle, stop smoking, stop texting and driving, do report bullying, things like that. You're trying to change somebody's mind usually some way or another. So I want them to come to a game. 
And to make them come to a game, got to make it look fun, you know. So the picture of the girl was smiling. She was happy. And it's got the high school in there. And uh, it's got our colors all school spirity and things like that. And so uh, then we can uh, add just a little stripe just for good measure. Let me uh, make the stripe line up with her hand. I like sandwiching things in. I like doing stuff like this, like the word game is behind the basketball. And the word tonight is in front of the basketball. And like the girl... She is uh, behind the stripe, but her arm is on top of the stripe. I like doing things like that. See what I mean? The word home is in front of the school, but it's behind her. I like sandwiching things in. I think it makes it look fun and detailed. And uh, we'll put our logo on there. So here's the thing. Now we have a template. By the way, I love lens flares. If you get a, den uh, a lens flare, you can copy and paste them from the internet. They're going to have a black background. If you change it from normal to just screen, screen screens out the color black. And so it only leaves the flare itself. And I can move this wherever I want to. I'm just going to put it on our logo for now, just for fun. And uh, so there's that. So all I would have to do now to change the template is go in, choose the, the young lady, take her out, put in another Auburn High School basketball player, and that's it. You know, if you wanted to change the word home game to away game tonight, that's, that's fine. You have a template. And uh, you can you can make it say or do what you want. Sometimes you may have one that has like, uh, you know, maybe it says instead of away game, it says number 40. Uh, and then you take out this player, put in another player, and make it say number 20, things like that. That's what a template is. And then one quick plug, I always work on high-resolution photos. Don't be this person. Bow. Let me zoom in so you can see. If you have a picture that's incredibly pixelated or blurry, just don't use it. Just use a different picture that is clear. So uh, I think that's basically it.